We're shipping up to Boston, and we're making the rounds here on ESPN.com. Jim Basswell alongside Brian Campbell. Ken Casey is a man of many hats. He's the singer and bass guitarist of Dropkick Murphys, a founder of a charity. And on October 30th, when Danny O'Connor takes on Andrew Farmer in Plymouth, Massachusetts, Ken will be a boxing promoter, his promotion company, Murphy's Boxing. Ken joins us now, and he joins us via Skype doing it in the car to discuss that card being co-promoted by Golden Boy. Uh, Ken, what brought on the connection to the sport of boxing for both you and the band? Uh, I think, you know, since the inception, we were kind of all big boxing fans. We've definitely covered that ground lyrically. We In 99, we wrote a song about uh, John L. Sullivan uh, called Blood and Whiskey. We got a song about Mickey Ward called Warrior's Code, which and Mickey's on the cover of our 2005 album um, called The Warrior's Code. It's just kind of been a sport I've always personally loved and the band's loved, and so uh, it's kind of the, the connection between the fans of the band and um, boxing. You know, they, they if we promote boxing, basically, they take to it pretty good, you know? Yeah, how about you just talked about that, the connection of the two. How, how about when it comes to promoting, what are the specific similarities between boxing and the music business? I mean, it's exactly the same in reality. It's like the fighter is like the musician, you know, always getting screwed by the promoter or the manager or somebody. Uh, <laughs> you know, the, 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 they're the last one to get the, you know, what they have coming to them. And so I, I feel like, you know, first of all, let me say as a boxing promoter, I, I'm not trying to be like, you know, Snooky or whoever the hell else is, you know, trying to dabble in boxing. I like to promote boxing for the true nature of promoting, like, you know, bringing me back to the early days of the band when, you know, you're going hanging up flyers at gyms and, you know, you're really like working to actually put bodies in the seats. And um, so I think that ground up mentality of being able to, you know, really get hands on. I mean, when's the last time you saw a boxing, you know, when you think boxing promoter, you don't, you know, I'm meeting guys at Home Depot parking lot to sell them two forty-five dollars tickets, you know, <laughs> we're taking it right down to the streets. So, um, I think the fighters appreciate that though. And they see that I'm, you know, I'm matching, you know, the work ethic that they have to put into it. I, you know, I don't want to say I'm matching it cause they're, they're fighting and I'm just selling tickets, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm putting, we're, we're putting our heart and soul into it for them, you know, and, and any fighter who spends months in the gym and, you know, puts their, their health and well being on the line in the ring, you know, should, should, should have that and deserves that. Ken, this is Brian Campbell. You broke into boxing as the manager of welterweight Danny O'Connor. You've gone on to become his promoter. What did you see in him as both a person and a fighter that drew your interest? I mean, I, at first I was, you know, it was him as a person. We met because he was volunteering for the band's charity foundation called the Clatter Fund. And I'm just like, man, what a good kid. He's, you know, he's trying to give back. He hasn't even really made it himself in the sense, you know, he won the national amateur championship. Uh, he went to the Olympics, but in, ter in a financial sense, you know, he was still, man, he's trying to, you know, had, had a newborn baby, married, trying to be away at camp and still promote himself. And, um, you know, a boxer on that level, even even though they're a really good prospect, you know, they still they're still expected to do, um, you know, to do the groundwork themselves. And I said, geez, it must be hard. And and I I volunteered to help, and I basically planned on hitting the send button on the Dropkick Murphy social media to kind of introduce uh, him to our fans, and that was the plan. And you know, three years later, I'm uh, engrossed in boxing and promoting him and. You know, have other fighters we work with, and um, it's <laughs> yeah, it's like quicksand, but it's it's good. I enjoy being stuck in there. Ken, you you've helped O'Connor secure fights at some unique venues, including the House of Blues in Boston, which included a live music act. You also had him in a boxing, the first boxing card at Gillette Stadium. What do you bring to the table as a promoter that you would say is different from boxing's old guard? I, I sometimes maybe just the one the mentality to know that boxing to get back to its glory days needs to come back to the cities not just go to whatever casino is most profitable you know no one wants to you know no offense to the casinos but to try to tell boston people or new york people that they need to drive to connecticut when they could just be seeing a fight in boston or new york that is, Brian, the epitome of a grassroots approach right there. That's he Ken Casey. Rolls up his sleeves and gets dirty. Yes, he gets what it done. Doing?
That's it for this edition of Making the Rounds. For Brian Campbell and, of course, Ken Casey, I'm Jim Bassworth.